Hey guys, it's your girl Tara coming to you from thecraftsergeant.com and welcome to another episode in my new series called Fast to Fabulous. In this series, I show you guys how you can take a really simple card with a simple layout that's easy and fast to create and turn it into a more fabulous card with layers, embellishments, and more advanced techniques. So in today's video, I am excited to share with you guys another set of beautiful cards that feature a very popular stamp set in the new Stampin' Up! 2020 mini catalog, and it's called Painted Poppies. Here are the cards. Aren't they gorgeous? OMG. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. I love this. This is the simple one, and this is the more stepped up one. As you can tell, there is some additional layers and some popping up going on on this card. Now, before we get into stamping and me showing you guys how to create these beautiful cards, I do want to give a shout out to the one and only amazing Dina Rico. She's one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. She's my team leader. And the reason why I'm shouting her out is because she gave me the thumbs up to use one of her designs that I uh, received from her in a card swap for our team. And this is the original card so that's where i got the inspiration for this project at and so i had to you know i had to put my own stank on it i did change the colors up and fun fact this is one of her favorite colors <laughs> so um dina if you're watching this i greatly appreciate it and i thank you for allowing me to feature your beautiful simple card in my fast to fabulous series so now that i got that out of the way Stay tuned because I'm going to show you guys step by step on how you can create these two gorgeous cards. And I'm going to share with you guys details on this marvelous stamp set that can be found in our current mini catalog. All right, so we're going to start off by creating this really pretty and simple card first. So the following products I used are a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock for my card base. I'm using a piece of Basic Black, Whisper White. And then I have a thin whisper white strip that's big enough to hold the congratulations sentiment on it. All right, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna fold our card base and we're gonna burnish it down with our bone folder. And we're gonna sit that to the side. And now we're going to do our stamping. So the first thing we're gonna stamp are our flowers or our poppies. So I'm taking my Memento Black ink and my poppy stamp. So we're going to stamp this two times. So we're going to stamp, ink it up, and stamp that first one. And then we're going to stamp the second one, just like that. Then we're going to stamp our leaves. Just like that. And like that. And we're gonna, oh, before we close that up, we're gonna stamp our sentiments. Congratulations. Just like that. Good. So we're gonna close this little guy up and then we're going to stamp our color into our poppies. So I'm gonna take my Coastal Cabana ink and there's this watercolor wash looking stamp it kind of has like um a unique texture to it. it makes it look like it's watercolor and we're gonna stamp this in the centers of our flowers just like that and we're going to take our big splatter stamp and we're going to stamp the splatters on top of our flowers just like that and then we're gonna come in with our Granny Apple Green. And we're going to take the small splatter stamp and we're gonna stamp in the centers of our leaves, just like that. And so that's all of the stamping that we're gonna do. And now it's time for us to assemble our layers. So you're gonna take your liquid glue or your snail adhesive, whatever you have in your stash. And we're going to assemble our layers. We're going to take this and attach it to the piece of basic black. And then we're going to glue down our basic black to our card base. Just like this. Okay. 
And then for our sentiment strip, we're gonna take some dimensionals. Now let me find a sheet that I've already used. We're gonna take about three of them, put them on the back side of this. And then we're going to flip this little guy over and we're gonna attach it down to our card base. And here is our first card. See, super fast, super simple, and gorgeous. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more um, bling to it, you can take your Wink of Stella pen and you can color over these flowers just to give it a little bit of sparkle and shine. Just like that. And we're good. So now, we're gonna move on to our more stepped up version of this card. All right, so for the more stepped up version of this card, the steps are still the same um, with the stamping. However, we're going to take it up a notch. So first off, on a scrap piece of paper, instead of us stamping straight onto our Whisper White layer, we're going to stamp on a scrap piece of Whisper White all of our images. So it's the same concept as before. We're gonna stamp two flowers with two poppies. And we're gonna stamp two leaves in Memento ink. Then we're going to take our Coastal Cabana and we're gonna use the watercolor wash background again we're going to just stamp the centers of our flowers just like that. And then we're going to take the big splatter and splatter the inside just like that. Then we're going to take our grainy apple green and we're going to take the smaller splatter and we're going to stamp in the centers of our leaves. And before I forget, I'm going to pull out my memento again, and we're going to stamp our sentiment onto our Whisper White strip. Just like that. And there you go. And I'm going to take my layer, my Whisper White, my Whisper White layer, and I am going to use it this die cut as a guide for the big splatters. So I don't know if you guys could tell, but in the background, I did put a little bit of splatter with my Coastal Cabana. So I'm just using this little guy as a guide. If you want, if you're really careful, you can flip it over and stamp that way so it kind of shows through. However, I'm just going to use it as a guide. So I'm gonna stamp it here, just like that. And then I'm gonna stamp the other side. I'm only gonna stamp this like twice. There we go. Just like that. So you can kind of see it from the background. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and die cut the rest of my images out and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I have die cut all of my pieces out of the poppy set that I need. Let's sit those off to the side. We are gonna go ahead and begin to assemble our card. So once again, you're going to take your card base. I have a piece of Coastal Cabana for my card base. We're gonna burnish our crease down just like that. And we are going to I can pick it up. <laughs> Glue down our Whisper White layer to our piece of basic black. The good thing about Tombow is that it gives you a little bit of time so you can manipulate it and move it into the spot if you didn't glue it down right the first time. All right, and then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to attach 
or adhere this down to my card base, just like so. All right, I'm gonna take my piece of silver glimmer, my little die cut. It's got all these like little pieces that fall out of it. It's really cool, love it. Love this die. I think this is one of my favorite dies in that die set. And I'm gonna take a few dimensionals and we're gonna pop this little guy up onto our card base, just like so. The bottom corner. All right, and then to stick our flowers and our leaves down, I have found that glue dots work really, really good for this part. You could put them closer together if you want to. I prefer them to be a little closer. So that way I don't have any of that silver glimmer paper showing. And then I'm going to take one last glue dot. I'm going to put that in the center of my sentiment strip just so that way it'll stick to the center of my little embellishment piece here. And I'm going to take two dimensionals and put them on the outside edges. And we're going to, ooh, I don't know what's going on with this little dimensional. And we're going to pop it up just like oops, wrong spot. Oh, it's coming up. I don't think I stuck it. Yeah, there we go. I didn't stick it down too good. All right, and we're going to stick our little sentiment strip, if I can get it in the right spot, right about there, just like that. I'm going to sit that to the side. And then last but not least, I'm going to take my handy dandy, take my pick tool. I love this tool. This is one of my favorite tools to use it's like the swiss army knife of crafting it's great for picking up rhinestones it's got a little putty tip on it it's like this is replaceable and it has like these two tips here you have a spatula on one end the point the pokey tool on the other and then i have a stylus that's double sided too with a small and a big stylus i love this thing comes in handy when you're crafting and now i'm going to take my basic black thread it's up here somewhere all right and then we're gonna take some of our thread and we're gonna tie a bow cute little bow to embellish with just like so so you're gonna need your paper snips to trim off that i think my scissors are dull that's okay, I gotta sharpen them. There we go. And then we're going to attach our little piece of thread right there onto our card, just like that. And as with the other one, if you wanna add a little bit more sparkly to it, you can by using your Winkastella, your Winkastella pen. All right, guys, so here are our finished cards. Oh my gosh, aren't they gorgeous? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of today's projects. They're so, so pretty. I love them. Like I mentioned earlier, we use the featured stamp set, Painted Poppies. This set is gorgeous. And like I mentioned earlier, it is a fave um, in the new 2020 mini catalog. It also has some coordinating dies that go with it as well. And if you purchase them as a bundle, you can save 10%, which is really, really awesome. You can save some money. If you notice uh, in the set, there are no sentiments. I actually pulled in the Peaceful Moments stamp set, which is also a coordinating stamp set that works beautifully with the painted poppies because there are some additional dies that coordinate with, um, with the set as well. And of course, it's poppies. Aren't they gorgeous? So if you're wondering what sentiments I use, that's where I got the sentiments from. And to find them, 
you can look in our 2020 mini catalog on page 24, 25, 26, and 27. That's where you can find all the products, um, all of these stamp sets and their coordinating dies. And there's a whole bunch of gorgeous, um, gorgeous things here on these these pages for these um, these bundles, which is really awesome. So that's the catalog. That's where you can find it. If you would like a copy of our 2020 catalog uh, or our mini catalog, please, please, please hit me up at thecraftsergeantathotmail.com. Send me your name and your address and I'll send one out to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, if you do place an order in my online store, that we do have celebration going on. Celebration is the best time to shop, best time to host, and the best time to join because for every $50 you spend in my online store, you get to pick a free celebration goodie out of the celebration brochure, which is awesome. So there's that. All right, guys. So if you like today's projects, uh, I will have a handwritten tutorial with measurements and a supply list on my website. That'll be linked down below in the description box. And if you like my videos and want to continue to see more like them, along with more project inspirations and tutorials please make sure that you guys hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel and if you want to get updates on all of my upcoming classes events and receive project inspiration then please sign up for my newsletter which i'll also have the link down below but other than that that's all i got for you guys for now so see you next time thanks for watching and happy stamping